The evolution of mammals has led to some pretty weird body plans in its history, and this group of mammal relatives were no exception. This assemblage of prehistoric beasts, called the Gorgonopsians, meaning Gorgon faces after the Greek monster, first evolved about 265 million years ago, just before the dinosaurs came into existence. The Gorgonopsians quickly became huge carnivores, dominating the environments they lived in, but they eventually succumbed to the most devastating extinction of all time, the so-called Great Dying that marked the end of the Permian period, but also the start of the age of dinosaurs. The Gorgonopsians did begin their evolution as fairly small animals, with earlier species reaching the sizes of dogs. However, later members of the group grew to considerable proportions, and the largest one discovered so far, named Inostranscevia, measured around 3.5 metres long and possessed enormous sabre teeth about 12 centimetres in length. These bigger species probably preyed on the large herbivores that they shared their environment with, and it presumably was not unusual to see an Inostranscevia attacking the huge turtle relative Scutosaurus, a 3 metre long herbivore. The Gorgonopsians have been called mammal-like reptiles in the past, due to their position in the evolutionary history of life. However, like the other groups of animals labelled mammal-like reptiles, this is not actually a good name for them, since they are not reptiles at all, but rather a group of animals that are closely related to mammals, but split away from the ancestors of mammals before mammals evolved. A far more accurate name to call these groups of mammal relatives would be stem mammals, or proto-mammals. The anatomy of the Gorgonopsians gives us important information about the lifestyle of these predators. The agile-looking overall build of their skeletons suggests that these animals were highly active, efficient hunters. In addition, they have unusually long legs for their body size, and in comparison to other animals that lived at the same time as them, they were probably very fast runners, able to easily chase down and dispatch their slower moving prey. It has been theorised that Gorgonopsians may have hunted using an ambush technique. By lying in wait in cover and then running at full speed once a prey item came close to them, they could have utilised their huge sabre teeth with devastating effectiveness. The presence of sabre teeth in these animals is a great example of convergent evolution with other sabre toothed animals, such as the famous sabre toothed cats. These structures are clear indicators of a predatory lifestyle in both groups of animals. But what exactly did the Gorgonopsians look like when they were alive? There has been some debate about Gorgonopsian life appearance, and it is not really known for certain if they possessed scales, or if they might have had some form of primitive fur that covered their bodies. There is actually some evidence that Gorgonopsians could have possessed hair-like filaments, with the discovery of fossilised faeces from the same time that they lived. These fossils contain the remains of some sort of fur, which indicates that Gorgonopsians and perhaps some other groups of stem mammals may have been quite fluffy in life. However, it's also possible that they only possessed a few filaments and were mostly scaly. More evidence is needed before we can be sure. Unfortunately, like many groups of successful animals, the Gorgonopsians eventually all died out. Their death was caused by the most catastrophic mass extinction of all time, the Great Dying at the very end of the Permian period. Hugely damaging volcanic eruptions, as well as other causes, led to rapid climate change that resulted in the destruction of around 70% of all life on land, and the Gorgonopsians were among the casualties. They were actually the only group of theriodonts to be killed off by this extinction though, since the other group that makes up the theriodonts is the group that includes mammals. Fortunately for us, that group, called Eutheriodontia, managed to survive. And so, hundreds of millions of years after the last Gorgonopsians disappeared, the descendants of the Eutheriodonts discovered what remains of some of their ancient relatives, and decided to write papers and make videos about them. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you would like to learn more about our incredible world and the wonderful life we share it with, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future videos from us. 